Okay guys, this time, look at that, it's a Subaru wheel. This time, my daughter's Subaru needs a new ball joint. In Pennsylvania, we have uh, annual state inspections and I inspected it for her and she had a bad ball joint. So, we're not gonna be working on the truck for this video. We're gonna be changing on this ball joint right there. So hopefully this might end up turning into a two-part video or three, you know, depending on how hard it is to get it off. But uh, this bolt here in the Subarus, that's what holds your ball joint in. There's a collar. It's like a collar. It squeezes it in. There's a slit there that you got to separate to get the knock of the ball joint out. And air chisels is faster for getting that to fall out. But if you don't heat this bolt up nine times out of ten, it snaps off. And guess what you're doing? You're drilling it out. So I already took the wheel off. And if I can get this apart today, it'll be done today, hopefully. Because um, if not, I'm going to be taking the whole spindle into work tomorrow and getting it on the bench where I can work with it. Being at home kind of kind of sucks not having a lift. Or my air tools. Or a big torch. So we're going to go ahead. I have a mini torch here today. Get my gloves on. And we're going to uh, heat this ball joint up. Or not the ball joint, the bolt. And we're going to try to get that bolt to come out because that's half the battle. So I'm going to have to slide the camera back away from the flames. And we're going to fire up the torch. And just go along and you just heat up the bolt. It's going to melt the ball joint boot. And that's okay, just don't heat up the CV axle here because that's bad. Melting the ball joint boot, well, you're going to replace that anyways. And you just apply some heat. Get it hot. Suck it on there. And slowly. Dude, don't do this fast. Because if it's going to break, it'll break really easy on you. And we got some turnage. So, if you feel it turning, you can see it on the other side too. So, if you can see it turning, or it doesn't feel like it's, you know, locking up on you. It looks like it's coming out okay, which is good because the best thing I want to do is sit here and spend two hours drilling out one bolt. Because you can do that and you get a long bolt with a nut and just, you know, do it that way. But I prefer not to break this. It's not my car. And they've been down to one car all weekend because they left us here on Saturday or Friday instead of picking it up because I told him I said if you're gonna take it try not to hit any big potholes or anything like that that might uh, might cause the ball joint to fall out now that it's moving pretty good we're just gonna switch to the smaller ratchet There it is. Ow. Well, that's kind of hot, you know? Funny thing about heat makes things hot. Okay, that's half your battle is getting that bolt out. Now we're going to go after this castle nut here. Get the 
cottering pin out. Or not. They did a really good job. I got the kind of pin straighten out. Now the question is, can I get it to move out? Hopefully, because this is a 2012 Subaru. Hopefully, it's not too too rusted, where it's going to really fight me. Because you know, I just put in an eight hour shift at work, and I'm really not about fighting this thing tonight. But they've been down to one car for a few days. So, alright, well, here's what we're gonna do. We're just going to make the cutting pin go down. We're just going to drive the nut off with the impact. Once I find out what size that is. <laughs> one glove. That's awesome. And it's so hot around here tonight, you know. Up here in Pennsylvania, we usually don't hit 90s until the end of July and August, and boy, it's been killing it in the upper 80s and 90s for the last two weeks. Three weeks straight, and it's just too hot. <laughs> for me. Alright, it's a 19 millimeter socket for this lower ball joint. And it's always good to drop the gun on the ground. No? Okay, it's not a 19. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a 19. So what this will do is this will just break over that cotton pin. And then it's out. So. off we are going to take the shaft nut off as well so that I can move the axle this way I can move the axle around
and that's a 32 millimeter socket and I'm gonna keep that keep that nut let's see Venus. okay that taps in pretty good so much harder doing this on the ground I tell you so what we're gonna try and do is get this ball joint to come out of the lower control arm and bend the heat shield of course I better fix that before I get it back to him. Well. I don't know. That's going to be really irritating, isn't it? I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get this out of there tonight. I'm going to pause this for a minute. I need to go down to the garage and get my come along try and help hold this lower control arm down for me in a bigger pry bar so we'll be back in just a second okay I got the ridiculously big come along it's the only thing I could find tonight and I hook it around the weakest part and sway bar link but that's about all I can do right now that sway bar link is bad anyways. So I'm gonna open back the camera up a little bit. Get some tension on that. And that'll help. That'll help uh, pull that joint down. In theory, anyways. Come on now. Well, it acts like it ain't never been apart before in tw 12 years. Well. Hoping to be a little easier than this, but I suppose nothing I ever do seems to be easy. So I got that come along as tight as I can get it. She just ain't giving it up. Wow. 
Well, I don't know. Maybe I need to come at it from the other side a little bit. It's getting kind of loud. All that hammering. I just don't know. Why it has to fight me this way? Oops. Oops. Sorry about that, guys. I was not supposed to hit that camera. We got neighbors going to town. I'm not sure I'm tearing the shield up though. That's always good. We don't need it anyways. Alright. Right. Tell you what, if I wasn't trying to save her money, I'd be doing it this work right now. Cause I'll tell you what, up in the air is so much nicer. more I can pull before I break that link. Stupid link. Yeah, maybe if I heat the heat the controller a little Uh oh, looks like the torch might be running out of gas. Well, so much for heating it up. Ain't nothing in there. There ain't much left of me either.
What's going on, guys? Maybe get the jack over here. Put the jack under the rotor. Try and push up on the spindle. Maybe, maybe. more on the Okay, that picked up off the jack stand. Another reason to have them. Another reason to have a lift on. So that wasn't supposed to do that. So hopefully you guys survived that. The car didn't really do too bad. Show the room under there now. Could you actually pull the axle out? Seems good. Although the ball joint did come out. Of the power controller. It's not exactly the way I wanted it to. and I had on the other side. Looks terrible. Okay. So.
So I don't know how bad that jiggled the camera. But our next objective is that seam right there. That split. That split right there. You got to get in there with a chisel and spread it apart. And in theory, tap the ball joint out from underneath. So, I don't know. We'll try to do that here for a minute. This is looking more and more like it's going to be done tomorrow anyways because I have to get a dry shaft now. I'm not even pulling that other side out of the transmission because then I could lose some fluid that way. So I'll just take what I got with me to work tomorrow and talk to the boss. Try to be safe and use both my jack stands under the front, you know, to keep the front level. And yeah, well, apparently, apparently that wasn't so safe. So, I get one of my chisels. I hope you can see this okay here. So, Do try to separate that and spread it out the best you can to open it up. And hopefully let that ball join out. Just not having any kind of luck today. I keep jiggling the camera around on you guys. 